I recently received a comment from subscriber Bill on one of my videos. And Bill's comment reads, I am trying to go from writing short stories to writing novels. I'm finding the idea of filling so many pages daunting. Can you offer any advice on how to make this transition? In this video, we're going to talk about making the transition from short stories to novels. But before we do that, my name is Michael Laron with Author Level Up, and I make these weekly videos because I believe that everyone watching this has Dean Koontz level talent and you just need help unlocking it. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that little bell to get notifications every time I have a new writing video. So in making the transition to short stories to novels, you may not believe this, but there was a day where I had this same problem. I started off writing poetry and I graduated into short stories and I said, oh my gosh, I, I, I don't think I could ever write a novel. That just seems like too much work or, or to use Bill's words, just seems a little daunting. And I had a friend that uh, was, was good enough to kind of kick me in the butt and say, no, I, I think you can do it. Give it a shot. And now here I am with over 30 novels to my name and I uh, think it's kind of silly that I ever I ever thought that. But when you're in the beginning, it's very easy to think because if you if all you've written is short stories, short stories have a different structure. They're shorter, they're usually a, a lot simpler than novels, and so it's very natural to look at a novel and say, "Oh my, I don't know if I can do that." So here's my advice. First things first, I would figure out if you are a plotter or if you are a pantser. A plotter is someone who outlines their stories, figures out what's going to happen before they start writing. And a pantser is someone who has no idea what they're going to do. They just, <laughs> they just kind of make it up as they go along. I imagine that most people watching this are probably going to be plotters, at least in the beginning of their careers. So figure that out first. Then what I would recommend that you do is I've got a video. It's called How to Outline Your Novel in 10 Ways. You can check it out by clicking the YouTube card above my head. Pick three outlining methods from that video or three that you, that you find on your own and just study them. Buy the books from that author, watch video interviews with that author and figure out how to outline a book in that method and do it with three of them and just read them, read them and internalize them understand them. And there's probably one of those methods that you resonate with more than others. Then what I want you to go do is go off and watch three movies and then read three books. All right. doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you watch, but then start to see if you can see any of those methods in play with any of the movies and books that you read. Because if you can, then that's where you start to get that awareness. Because you've read books your whole life, you've watched movies your whole life, but you probably never thought too much about the plotting. When you start actually thinking about it internally, or you build that awareness of it, that's when you start things start clicking. And then that's when you can start thinking, okay, oh, okay, that's how that author did it. Oh, that's how, that's how I should be thinking about the structure of my novel. And just think about this as a marathon and not a sprint. When you write your first novel, it's going to exhaust you mentally and <laughs> emotionally and even physically in some cases. And that's perfectly okay. You've got to train your way up to writing a novel regularly. All right. So once you have done all of those things, then the next thing is to understand what the process is, because what scares people a lot is the process. All right. And I actually have written a novel. It's called or a book. It's called How to Write Your First Novel. And it walks you through the process. You can grab it at authorlevelup.com slash first novel. But to give you kind of a, an overview of the process, because, OK, you understand how a book should be put together. You've seen some examples of it. Maybe now you have an idea of what your book should look like. And maybe you choose to outline. Maybe you choose not to outline. But now you need to understand the process because the process is where, where, where people start dropping like flies. All right. Because here's what's going to happen. You are going to sit down and start writing your book. And for the first 10 percent, maybe 15 percent, you are going to feel amazing. You are going to love the book. The book is going to love you back. And then you're going to wake up one morning and everything is going to look like crap. And you're going to you're going to you're going to want to quit. And you're going to you're going to doubt yourself and you're going to doubt everything on the page that you have written. This is perfectly normal. But the first time people go through it, 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 it just it just knocks them off and people drop like flies somewhere between the 
15, 25% mark of the book. The key is to keep pushing through it and keep writing no matter what. So if you've set a, a word count goal of 500 words and now you're only doing 100 because you're not quite sure what's supposed to happen, 100 is progress and just keep going. And eventually you, the, the, the math will work in your favor and you'll get past that. And then things get a little bit better. Then you get into the middle where things get a little bit hinky for a minute, but usually it'd be okay if you just keep at it. And then it's the second, the, the, the 75 percent mark where things start getting hard again. Not quite as hard as the first third, but they get hard, and a lot of people will quit around this mark too. The key again is to it's mindset and read my book, How to Write Your First Novel. I help you through this, and then you'll you'll eventually get to the end where you have a finished manuscript. That's the goal. Get a finished manuscript. Even if it's a first draft, you guys know how I feel about first drafts, but even if it's a first draft, that's better than nothing. And then you can go through and you can revise and you can start figuring out publication and how to get your book formatted and edited and all that good stuff. But you can't do that if you don't have a finished book <laughs> or finished draft to begin with. But the process is usually what weeds people out. All right. So we talk a good game about, you know, when it comes to, okay, this is what I need to do. This is what a character should have. This is what should be in a story. But when the pen starts hitting the paper is when it gets difficult. All right. So if I were making that transition for, from short stories to novels again today, I would figure out if I'm a plotter or a pantser. I would learn from some authors who have methods that are designed to help you think about stories this way, then I would sit down and start and have a very good understanding of the process because the process is going to take a lot longer for that first book. All right. So the process of like writing that first novel, my first one, it took me like 18 months. All right. And then my second novel took me nine months. And then my third novel took me like four, four months. And so you take the lessons you learn from each book and then you apply it to the next book. And eventually you'll find that you write faster and you write you write more efficiently. And then you'll be like me and you'll look back on the day where you thought you could never jump from short stories to novels. And you'll kind of laugh because you'll 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 already be conditioned to to write novels as quickly as possible, or at least as efficiently as possible compared to your your level. All right. So that's how I would think about this problem. Just know the first book is always going to be the hardest. The second book is always going to be the second hardest, and it just gets easier as you go along. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Perfect.